Okay, so in this video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, why the binomial expansion is only valid for a certain range of values of x. Okay, and I'm going to do this through an example. We're going to look at 1 plus x to the minus 1. Okay, and we're going to expand that for the first few terms um, just so we can get an idea of what it looks like to start off with. So this is going to be equal to 1 plus uh, n times x. So n is minus 1, so we have minus 1 times x. That x is exactly the same as the x I've got there, so I don't need to make any kind of replacement. Plus, we've got n times n minus 1, so n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus uh, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed plus other terms. Okay? So if we simplify this, we have 1 take away x. Uh, we've got minus 1 times minus 2, which is 2. 2 over 2 is just 1, so it's plus x squared. And then we've got minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3, so that's minus 6 over 6, so minus 1 times x cubed, plus other terms. So in actual fact, 1 plus x to the minus 1 is just 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the 4 minus x to the 5 plus x to the 6, and so on and so on. OK, so that is what it looks like. Now, let's say um, we had um, x being equal to 2. OK, so let x be equal to 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to see whether the left hand side, whether 2 being put into that is the same as 2 being put into that, the right hand side. OK, so that would mean that we would have 1 plus 2 to the minus 1 being equal to 1 minus 2 plus 2 squared. So let me write 4. Take away 2 cubed, so 8 plus other terms. OK, so 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 to the minus 1, well, that's just 1 third. So what we're saying is that 1... One third is the same as 1 minus 2 plus 4 minus 8 plus 16 minus 32 and so on and so forth. Does that make sense? Well, obviously not. Okay. A no way is this infinite series going to be equal to one third. Okay. So that doesn't work. X equals 2 does not work for this, okay? So you might be thinking, well, does it work for any? Okay, so let's check, shall we? Let's have a look. Um, let's say uh, we look at um, x equals uh, half, okay? So let's let x be equal to one half. OK, so we would have 1 plus 1 half to the minus 1. And then we'd have 1 minus a half plus a half squared, so a quarter, minus a half cubed, so an eighth, plus, and so on. So 1 plus a half is 3 halves. 3 halves to the power of minus 1 is 2 thirds. OK, now is this equal to 2 thirds? So if you try this on a calculator, OK, starting off with 1, then take away a half, OK, press equals, then plus a quarter, press equals, so you get 3 quarters, then take away an eighth, that gets me to 5 eighths, then you're going to want to add on a sixteenth, then you're going to want to take away 1 over 32, then you're going to want to add on 1 over 64, then take away 1 over 128, then add on 1 over 256, and then take away 1 over 512, and then add on 1 over um, 1024, okay, and so on and so forth. Let's press the uh, SD button there, and what we're getting 
uh, all the way up to the 1 over 1024, we're getting 0 0.66699281875. Okay, so in actual fact, what we found is that we can go up to 1 over 1024, and we've got two thirds accurate to uh, two decimal places, okay? And the more terms that I add on, the closer this is going to get to two thirds, okay? The more accurate it's going to be. So clearly, it works for some values of x, but it doesn't work for other values of x. So there must be a range of values of x for which this expansion works. And this is the, uh, the range of validity, okay, which actually I wrote in when I first introduced this formula, okay, and that is that x, or the modulus of x rather, has got to be less than 1. And this is equivalent to x being anywhere between minus 1 and 1, okay? So as long as the x value that you're substituting in is between minus 1 and 1, it will give a good estimate. In fact, it will be equal, okay? As long as you added, or added together an infinite number of terms. If it's anywhere outside of that range, like x is equal to 2, then um, it won't work, okay? So it has its limitations. Um, and we need, in certain examples, to make sure that we can find that range of validity. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video.